Hello Knight here, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is going to be my new campaign. We're going to play a Shogun 2 uh, faction. We're going to play as the Oda. Uh, they've got improved morale for Ashigaro. That's neither here nor there to be honest. It's not really so much that. This is the crucial thing. That'll, that'll actually build up anyway as they fight battles and they improve morale. But it's the recruitment costs and upkeep for the Ashigaro which will be the, the useful thing. Uh, we're going to play Domination Campaign. And playing on legendary. Um, we don't want to search for dropping players, so I think that's glitched. Got a 60 minute time limit for battles. I'm going to show CPU move so we can see what's going on. We're not going to get any advice at all. Uh, this will be my second foray into legendary <laughs> um, setting. I hope it's going to last a bit longer than my previous one, which was the Takeda clan. We actually lost that in, I think, 12 episodes and about 60 turns. Um, but I have played for about two or three years, maybe three years, something like that, so I need to get back into it. I think the legendary is difficult anyway. But, um, I say we're going to play as the Oda. Um, let's see the intro. Uh, I've done a little bit of research about the Oda. It seems to be mixed views about whether it's very easy or very hard. People obviously have different views about these factions, but the main thing that sold it to me was the fact that I can maybe recruit a couple of stacks as opposed to one, given the cost of them. The Ashigara units, the Bo and the Yari Ashigara units are about, I think about 50 Koku cheaper, I think, something like that. And they're certainly cheaper to maintain, so um, you can maybe get a couple of stacks out. The main thing I found in the previous campaign of Legendary was that just so many stacks come to attack you, I just find it hard to actually win and if you do win you can suffer so many losses that you then pray to the next stack that comes along but maybe we'll be a bit more luckier in this um 1545 this is Sengoku Jidai the age of the country at war for 200 years the Ashikaga shoguns have ruled from Kyoto. Great splendor and power were theirs. Now, the overmighty clans no longer obey. The time has come for a new warlord to become Shogun. But who will be victorious? Other lands have always provided for our people. Our enemies are many and envious. They threaten our borders and look for any weakness. Others may cover titles, but Ashigaru, common spearmen, are the bedrock of order might. All know us. The commanders of a thousand spears. It is an honor to lead such a man. Our generals are battle-scarred veterans of a righteous strength. Bishop Mountain, the war god has awoken. Now is the time to defeat our enemies! All will bow to the other clan. We wait no longer. Destiny calls. We are the other. These are trying times for our clan. Not only are we at war on two fronts, but we are caught in the grips of civil strife. The infighting threatening to tear our clan apart from within. Our first priority, therefore, is to quell the unrest in our midst and unify under a single banner once more. When order has been restored, we can set about building up our strength and extending our influence into the neighboring provinces. Long have we coveted Mikawa province to the east, 
and the recent vassalage of the local Tokugawa lord to the Imagawa has made this no less appealing. Nikawa is fertile and boasts fine war horses, vital to the production of superior cavalry. Mino is of lesser strategic importance, but the Saito should prove less bothersome to overcome, as whilst the Daimyu is manipulative to say the least, his forces are far less capable than the combined might of the Imagawa and Tokugawa. While making war on the Third Front is ill-advised, neutral Ise province to the west is known for its strong religious tradition and provision of fine monks for service both on and off the battlefield. However, with power and influence will surely come the ire of Kyoto. And should the Shogun feel threatened, he will rally his subjects against us. In that event, we must be prepared to fend off all who would attack us, no matter from where that threat emerges. If the Shogun wishes to halt our expansion, let him come here and reckon with us himself. Right, okay. I always find it's very exciting when it first starts this game. Uh, inspired effort. So if we crush the rebellion in Owari, which is our home province, we'll get 25% wealth generated by buildings for four turns. If Fine. the daimyo is to become shogun, military ruler of all Japan, we must defeat the current shogunate, the Ashikaga clan. Capturing and holding the capital of Kyoto for four seasons. At this point, the Emperor will declare our clan leader Shogun. We can make a bid for the Shogunate at any time, although the current incumbent may preemptively attack us if we become too powerful. War with the Shogun for either reason may result in other clans declaring war on our own in support of the status quo. Yeah, uh, to be honest, on Legendary, everyone attacks you anyway. <laughs> it makes no difference, but there's, it's kind of like a constant realm divide, to be honest, as far as I can see. Uh, right, so we've got rebels here. We've got war with the Saito. I'm at war with the Tokugawa. The Tokugawa, when that intro was running, I was noticing there's only about two or three units in um, Mikawa on their stronghold. And up here, in Mino, I think there was one unit, maybe two. I think it was only one unit, which is probably... What would it be? Um, what would it be? Okay. What do we get here? I think maybe it's going to be retainers, I think, probably, in a fortress, castle town. Right, okay, anyway, uh, right, let's have a think. What I've had some thoughts about what I'm going to do. I'm going to destroy this straight away, because we are the Ashgari people. Um, we're not going to build Yari, or eventually, I think it leads on to click on this we find out I think after Yari you can get a Ningata is it which are probably what I'm gonna aim for but I'm hopeful that I can expand down this corridor here take out Tokugawa the Imagawa um, and maybe get uh, Suriga where there's a there's a blacksmith there which would be quite handy to have there's a big gold mine here so I'm probably gonna end up fighting Imagawa Hojo and probably Takeda and maybe even Hattori, <laughs> maybe Iko Iki. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it could be any of these will be, but that will be my aim to head that that direction. So we are gonna we're gonna get rid of this and build a market. I think uh, we're not gonna upgrade anything. We're just gonna recruit. We're not gonna go for Yari. We'll go for one of each. You can see that they're only upkeep 67, which is really good. And 61. And yeah. That's excellent actually. 
Um, this is actually quite a rich province, I think, this area. Owari. If we can take out the Tokugara, we'll obviously be able to get some cavalry, and that will be my main sort of initial in the first phase of the campaign. I'd be using bow, um, Oda, Yari, and cavalry. Uh, what do we got here? Let's have a look at our Mastery of Arts. We're going to go Way of Chi so we can get a market straight away, and some Metsuke. They kind of like the garrison uh, secret police kind of people. They're quite handy for keeping cities under control. And I'm hopeful that I'm going to kind of blitz a lot of this campaign. I'm not going to sit back. I think that was my main problem when I played as a Takeda. I was too cautious. I am naturally quite a cautious player. I like to like build up my forces to huge numbers before I start to attack. Well, I, I can't do that in this game. I need to. I got. I need to really expand as quickly as possible and take some chances as well because we're not going to win unless we take chances. Okay, it's 12 is 9, um, 27 actually, he's quite good. We're going to adopt him. He's a Daimo, he's 35, Oda Nobig, Nobuhide, Nobuhide. Okay, right, that's what I want to do there. Um, so I'm recruiting, construction. Not going to do any construction at the moment. I'm going to, I'm going to have a look and see what's over here. If it's only retainers, we can actually take this city out. There's only one unit there. I think we can take this city out. Yeah. We're not going to wait. We're going to assault. So I'm going to take a lot more chances in this game. I'm not going to sit back and just try and build up forces because I don't think you're really given the time to do that. You need to keep moving on and taking more territory. And I need to get a lot more effective tactically when I'm playing the battles and trying to avoid losses, I think. Losses of men, obviously not losses. I want to avoid losing the battles, but obviously losses in numbers of men. So we've got um, a single unit in this fortress. We should literally just be able to kill it and take it over. At, at no cost to us, in theory. If he, unless he comes out and charges, chases around. But I think that he will maintain his position inside the fort. I think that's the main thing that they try and do. So they're always subject to, to a bow attack, these troops. Battle of Inokuchi. Okay, that's good for bowmen. We'll start straight away. You won't get a speech because we don't have a general. I love the maps in Shogun. They just, they're absolutely brilliant. The terrain and stuff are just really, really good. Right, okay, we're gonna, gonna put this guy here because it's nice and level. And we're gonna start the battle. And we're gonna move up to the low part of the... We're gonna fast forward. They're not moving at all at the moment. Okay, actually we don't wanna we don't wanna get winded. We don't wanna get winded. I always forget that you're on a the default is that they run. So we wanna get our breath back basically. We've got plenty of time to actually do this. They're obviously gonna hide at the back of the fortress. So if we if we go here on this corner we can cover Oh, is he coming towards me? Oh, let's take that off because I want to want to control what's happening. Um, let's put this back to. They're going to move again shortly. So that is already only forty-nine of them less. We killed eleven straight away. My lord. Oh, that's good. Will soon be yours. Really, thirty-nine of them left. They're going to move again in a minute. So we need to. Do the business on these guys as quickly as possible. Let's move. Only 31, so they're already down to half. We've hardly used any of our ammunition. Um, we killed 29. Got no experience so far, though, actually. That's a bit annoying. Let's just stop here and fire again. 
they really cannot hide anywhere unless they decide to come out and fight us in which case we'll run away and um, hopefully destroy their here they go oh wow we're turning them into pin cushions he's probably going to move again in a moment so we'll probably have to Oh yes, I've obviously got the blood pack enabled. Let's move here. Yeah, that was a poor, that was a very poor. Oh, still writhing about in agony. Is he dead or what? Nope. Okay, that's what here. I really want them to stop running. There's only 19 of them left. I want them to stop running so we can get a decent, oh mind you, we've got so many arrows. I can't honestly believe that we're not going to kill all these guys now. Fire! Come on, fire guys! Fire! Come on! Obviously it's glitched in some way. Fire! Anytime you're ready. Far away. There's only 19 of them left. Come on. Oh god, they're moving again now. Let's move over here. Oof, we're actually hitting them as they're running, to be honest. 19. Should be able to hit these guys again. They're quite close to us now. Still steady, actually. I'm surprised they've lost so many guys. Here they come! Here come the arrows! Oh yeah, this is really impressive, isn't it? Here they come! Whoa! One guy. <laughs> okay, let's get him. Let's get him. Come on. Oh wow, that was a really terrible, terrible volley. We still got the option of climbing the walls and killing this guy if we can't um, kill him with our arrows, but we've got loads and loads of arrows left. Here they come. Oh, look at that! He's absolutely impaled by them. <laughs> it's like. Wow, that should be the end of the battle, I think. Yep, there we go. It's a good start. Right, so I've got to decide whether to make this a vassal or take it over. I think I'm going to make it a vassal. That will be my first response so that I can move south. Hopefully the vassal will guard the north. I'm acutely aware we've got the Hattori who are very aggressive and also the Iko Iki. Um, yeah, he didn't get any experience at all, but he didn't lose anyone either, so it's covered. Okay, so if we occupy, we're going to have to garrison it and then we definitely get rebels, which I don't really be fighting up there. We're already at war with the Tokugawa. If we loot it, we'll get rebels again, so we're going to make them our vassal. Okay, so that gives us a unit, which is a Yari Ashigari. Oda Yari Ashigari, that's a good guy. That's a, let's move this guy. We don't want to move him in, we want to move him to there. Because we're going to attack these guys next, the rebels. I uh, don't know whether the... don't think the bowmen... I don't think the bowman can actually... no, he can't reach. Okay, so we've got... he's now our son, Munayori. 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 He's 27. Cooldown time he's got. Nobihidi... Hidi... Nobihidi... Nobihidi... Nobihidi, I suppose. 
minus 20 to diplomatic relations, so people are going to hate us. <laughs> I think we need to lose this guy, really. <laughs> Plus two morale. People absolutely hate us. 20% 20, 20 minus. Oh dear. Um, that's not good. It's not good at all. We've only got two. Yeah, we've only got two places where we can actually build stuff. Uh, okay, let's look at the. So he's a candidate for destruction. I think this guy. Maybe once we um, move on a bit, we'll maybe lose him. Um, okay. So what we're going to do? What do we got here? Right. I'm going to try and get both generals to get some. Some ranking up. Let's move him to here. Move this guy around to. Let's just move him down to the road. Move him to here. I'm going to give him a couple of troops each. Can we actually do that? No. Oh, yeah, we can. Yeah. So. This guy leads the attack. Okay, so we've got support from these guys. Support from these guys. So it's pretty much 50 50, but we should be able to take this guy. He's got Yari, Cavalry, which are the danger for my, my generals. We can probably do something with the cavalry, with the um, bow guys. I mean, we may be able to charge them with our two generals. We're certainly going to have to watch the Yari. It's going to be quite an awkward. Little battle, and he's probably going to sit on this hill as well, I would think, looking at this terrain. He's certainly going to, not going to rush towards us, he will just sit on the hill. Um, but he's, we really want to try and get his bows to come towards if we can. So we're going to have to maybe put Nobuhidi, 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 yeah, Nobuhidi to try and go and act as bait and draw them off from the hills. I'm going to try and um, get my generals ranked up as quickly as possible. It kind of, strategically, it kind of makes sense to have one general in Owari, my home territory, and one oh, do I need fog? Do I need fog? Would it be nice to have rain? That would certainly affect his we're going to wait. Ugh. Right, well, I think we're going to wait again. That's what we want. We want rain, because he's got bows, we don't. Slower reload for his... yeah, so that's fine. Yeah, what I'm saying is um, it makes sense to have one general in the north, one in the um, south, going through the, the battle of the, um, the Awari. I'm probably going to put both my generals in one stack until we've got enough troops for them to actually run stacks themselves. Um, how can I get a hold of these guys? Okay, so we're kind of hidden at the moment. We're on a hill. He'll, he'll probably be on a hill to try and see where my, where my reinforcements are coming from. <clears throat> we've obviously got battle realism in play, so we really don't know where the guys are coming from at the moment. Where the enemy are coming from. Oof, we're a long way over. So we need to need to slowly move over. We don't want to we don't want to run. I will speed things up in a moment. Not really, is that them? That's them I think. Over here. You see their flags moving. Let's go back to these guys. I think we're actually hidden, to be honest. We're in a pretty good position. If he yaris us, he comes towards us. Bow. Is that his bow? Where's his bow? I'm absolutely certain he's going to sit on the hill. He's not going to... There's only this way up. Or around here. Maybe we can send a general round here to try and encourage him to come down. Let's try and keep an eye on where his, um, his guys are, where his bowmen are, because they're the danger. Yari, Yari, 
There's his bow. Yeah, he's just going to sit on the hill. It's quite clear that that's his intention. Um, right. So I think I'm going to go. I'm going to group these guys together just for ease of movement at the moment. Is he coming towards me? Surely not. He's kind of setting himself up to face me over there. I don't want to start moving in yet with these guys until we can actually get these guys involved. At least I can see them quite quite clearly. I know exactly where they are. That's all of his units. That's a hell of a hill though. It's really steep. We're going to have to be quite clever here, I think, how we do this. We can probably put Nobby Hidi over here. And I've got the Yari, which are faster, over here. We'll try and hide them. Don't want to run. he doing? Kind of, I don't know really, to be honest. It's kind of derping about a bit. So the bow is still facing this way. Uh, might be time to cause him a slight problem by moving these guys. Uh, sorry, moving Muniyori. I'm gonna move down to here. Just walk though. The generals can't hide, of course. Um, so his bows are still facing this way, and his Yari are there, unfortunately. Oh. Okay, he's doing another reorganization. Bow are now behind his Yari, so we're not going to be able to charge them. What we need to do is maybe put the Yari, which are quite quite fast, use them as bait. Uh, what's he up to? Oh, do another reorganization. His bow is still facing that way. He's got his Yari cavalry here. Let's put the these guys up. I really want to try and yeah, his bows are just sitting there at the moment, so we're going to need to try and move a bit closer. Okay, let's maybe go here. Oh, I think he's um need to form up behind. Okay. He's going for it, I think. Maybe. Our hidden units have been discovered, my lord. Right. Okay, so he's rushing in. I like the AI in this game. I do. He's like... We're going to move back. The bows are going to hit us otherwise. We want to, well actually we want him to kind of come towards us if we can. See if we can get the, the bows. Why aren't they moving back a bit faster? We really want to try and give him a slight reason to come forwards. 
Okay, that's all up there. What we need to do, these guys, is move around to here. Those are coming forwards a bit more. I'm going to kind of encourage them to come a little bit further. This is all to our, all to our purpose. Got to watch these Yari. We're in. Now we've got to watch very carefully. Let's take these guys out of... Okay. This is looking better already. I think we can probably maybe taking these guys out soon oh, we're going to need to What we're taking a bit of a hit here. Our general is in grave danger. The trouble is they're steady, so we need to pull out of there. I was saying that they're actually going over now. We lost two guys. Come on, go, go. We need to get out of there. To account another charge. Now yeah, they're gone. Alright, so things are now fine. We can use, we lost six guys for a unit, which is not bad. We've got to watch the um, the Yari don't come down and cause us a problem. We can get these guys to now it's really the Yari Cavalry we want to destroy now. What are they doing? Okay. Let's come down. I think it might have a Yari charge soon. Well, they're actually right at the back, to be honest. We've now got this guy coming down. Get out of the way. What Yari wall? We don't really want them to attack downhill towards us. Yari Samri on this wall, on this side. Okay. Well, we haven't lost a huge number of troops so far. We might be able to let's get the Dymo to go here, and maybe encourage these guys to chase back down. Let's go back. And just here. Let's inspire this guy. Can we inspire it? Damn, he keeps coming up. Let's see if we can get these guys to come towards us. I think they're really coming this time. Yeah, they are. Let's get the Yari in. And let's charge in. Charge in. Charging uphill, of course, which is never a good idea, but... I 
need to retreat any moment if these cavalry come down the hill. 79. Let's go down, back down. How do we lose four guys chasing guys that were dead, basically? That's so weird. Right, we've got 30 guys left. He's got his Yari, Yari Cavalry. These guys we're gonna Yari walk. I think we're gonna we try and Yari I think tend to be slightly more what's the word? Um reckless, that's the word. So I think we're gonna move around here. So we've actually lost nine guys. Six no, six ten. We lost ten guys. So we may be able to do the same over here, encourage the Yari to come down. Let's take them out of Yari walls. I always think it Makes them tired. Okay, so we're going to try and coach this guy to come down. Come on, it's the, it's a Dymo. Come on, you really want him. Come on. They're very fast, actually, and they've got fast, uh, rapid speed, I think, Yari. So we've got to be very careful. Ready to run at, at any... So they start to move. Starting to move. Wow, come on. Oh, come on. Are they, <laughs> are they literally going to stay there? We're like 10 feet away from them. really want to charge in. This is incredible that we are so close and they won't attack us. Okay, we're tired, so we need to... tired, fresh, fresh. Uh, Move these guys up to here. Right. Okay. Well, things are going okay. We're not um, lost, not lost too many troops so far. They're in Yari Wall. I think we're going to try and get the cavalry. Yeah, we're going to try and get the cavalry to to chase my generals. Try and get the Yari. Okay, we're in nice defensive position here. I'm sure that the um, the Yari will be tempted by my general. I'm sure they will. Okay, so it's awkward, really. Need to a couple of units coming over winded again. It's because we're going up and down the hills here. Yeah, I definitely think the car, the Yari here are, are a bit more reckless, their cavalry. And if we can... I'm sure that we can get... Oh, they're charging. Oh, well, that's okay. That's fine. Is he going to charge? We're actually tired. He's charging downhill, unfortunately, for us. That's weird, what he's doing. Okay, so we'll have to watch this to see how we do. We haven't lost anyone so far. We're losing. We're losing. Unfortunately. Eighty-two. 
80. That's pretty much 50-50 that. But we're going to charge in. So we get the Yari cavalry shaken. Let's inspire this unit. Wavering. Taking quite a few hits here, to be honest. More than I would like. I'm not sure we can get round here without the... 155. Okay, they're starting to go now. Okay, they're going. This is just extraordinary that they are so close to me and they don't... They're not responding. Yari against Yari. These guys took quite a few hits, they're going to be tired. Let's move the general up, see if we can encourage him to come forwards. The idea is we're going to go straight into... If they come towards us, we'll go straight into here. There we go. Quick, 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 quick. Quick. Draw, we draw, we draw. 17. Gosh, that was a... We really took a charge there. However, they're now empowered on my Yari Ashigaru. We're in... We win indecisively. And they're gone. we we'll never catch them, to be honest. My lord! A glorious victory will soon be yours! Well, that was expensive, to be honest. We, we took a lot of hits here, especially on my generals. We're going to continue, because we want to get some experience. Right, let's kill these guys off. Let's just speed things up. It's just one unit of um, Yari Shigari, so we should be able to finish that off. We won't catch the Yari Cavalry, they're just too fast. Okay. Yeah, I was a bit slow getting this um, Maniori out of that situation, to be honest. I, it was a good idea to come up as we did um, and draw them onto the Yari wall, but I just didn't move them quickly enough. Are we going to kill these guys off, or what, what are we doing? It's like 34 of them left. Why are we kind of chasing over here? Right, let's uh, speed this up. Okay, that's the rebels dealt with, and we've now got a vassal. That's all in the first turn. That's good. Don't know whether we're going to rank up or not. I doubt it somehow, to be honest. We haven't really done enough to be to be ranking up yet. I need to quickly move on to attack the, um, there we go, oh he's completely gone, that's good. We've got a mess about trying to capture them. So we've now got inspired endeavours, 25% plus wealth, that's good. Um, just going to have a look and see what's happening around us. There's our vassal, that's us. We've got the Asai Kitabataki. Kitabataki. Uh, I think the Magara's got two. He has. Okay, right. Oops. 
What are we doing there for? Let's go back to there. Oh, look at the middle of the sea, do we? <laughs> Let's have a look. Where are we? I lost myself there for a moment. Okay. I need to think about what we're going to do here. Can we go back into here? I don't think you can, actually. Go back into there. I think we've basically moved all our units now. Indeed. Right. Oof, four turns for him to replenish. That's not good. Two turns for him to replenish. One. Twenty-four turns for Oda Munayori. Right, I think I'm done. I think we've sorted out our, our science and uh, diplomacy. Is anyone else we can trade with? Already trading. Nope. Sate. Are we not trading with these guys? I thought you're automatically trading. Perhaps not. Welcome. The rest of trade agreement. And so we can get some the outcome to our discussions. Get some money. Oh, did I not actually say that I wanted money? Nope. So they're dependable, ambitious, but they're hostile towards us. And they're destitute. Okay, well we'll just go for we'll go for trade. Okay, that's fine. It's the best we could hope for. How much trade are we actually getting from them? Let's have a look. Ah, yeah, they're not. They're not in a rich area, are they? Okay, 165, that's not good. But I say, we do have very rich grounds here. Um, don't think I want to do anything farm-wise yet. Price 2 food. 2812 wealth from farms in this province. That's good, I think. I think we could well get raided, actually. So I'm going to... I think I'm going to just end the turn. Yeah, and we'll see what Tokugawa do. Oh, there they are. There's a Saite. Ah, got some Yari. And some boat. Odi Yasagari. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be going for them, to be honest. I'm really just going to be going for like a peasant army. Spamming up guys as quickly as possible. Okay, that's as much as we can do at the moment. Okay, let's have a look and see how my army is figuring. Okay. So we've got quite a few troops here. We can form up quite a good army, or a couple of armies. Um, can we actually attack here? Not really quite sure. We might be able to. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to end my, my turn here. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think what it would have saved. Will I have a saved file, I think, won't it, at the end of the turn? So we're fine. Okay. Right. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to end my turn here. Oh, I don't know. I might actually move forwards. What to do, what to do. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to end my turn here. Uh, thanks for your time watching. I say I think this is going to be a slightly more auspicious uh, endeavor, I think, rather than the failure that I was as the Takeda, which are actually just over here, I think. No, uh, they're just over here at Kai. Uh, we never really got started in that kind of campaign to be honest and I, I really need to move and I'm, I'm sure that's the key to playing this game having played it once you can't play passively you've got to keep being very aggressive uh, how many guys has this guy got how many troops one two three four five six but they're going to be Yari Ashigaru we've got two four six we've got eight guys so we can probably take these on and beat them and move on to take out the Tokugawa. Hey, thanks for your time watching. I'll be speaking to you soon. Bye-bye for now.